Hi! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a game like this using c -sharp programming language. So, this is a project that I created earlier. It's called Bouncing Ball. Uh, I'm going to show you now how to create, uh, how to make this game. Um, as you can see, uh, in the form, you are going to need uh, one panel with black background, uh, one picture box. This is uh, only for showing a face, a happy face, for example, when you win, or a sad face when you lose the game and uh, you are going to make this one invisible from the properties from here properties you're gonna make the visibility of this uh, picture box uh, false uh, also you're gonna need a label to uh, show the count of bounces uh, the ball is making and uh, three buttons one for uh, creating a new game starting a new game and one for pausing the game and one for resuming the game so what we basically want to do uh, we want to do four things here we want the ball to move uh, to the to the right by five pixel increase each time until the right boundary limit is reached we want it also to move to the left by five pixel decrease each time until the left boundary limit is reached. We want the ball to move down with gradual increase in speed until hitting the ground. And we want uh, the ball to move up with gradual decrease in speed until the velocity reaches zero. So how are we going to do this? Let's go and, uh, to the coding and I'm going to show you how to uh, to make uh, this kind of movement and what are the main functions that I'm using to control the movement of the ball. Okay, so in the code, as we can see here, we have three main areas in our code. The members area, which holds all the members that we are going to use while coding our game, uh, the main functions area, which holds the main three functions that we are using to move the ball and to, do, to draw any objects on the screen, and the third area, which holds all the events that controls the mouse, the movement of the mouse, and uh, the, the graphics uh, painting on the panel, and etc. Uh, I'm going to uh, explain this uh, area uh, in detail, which is the main functions area. And our main function that moves the ball in the screen, which is move ball. So inside this function, move ball, I'm going to go through this code and explain it step by step. So what we basically want to do first, we want to check the direction of the ball. What is the current direction of the ball? Is it going to the right or to the left? So uh, move the ball to the right, for example. So if uh, this member, this Boolean member, direction right is true, then increase the X location, the left location of uh, the ball by five pixels. And check every time you increase the left uh, position of the ball, check if it reaches uh, the right boundary of uh, the panel. If that happens, if it reaches the the right boundary of the panel, then make this member false, make this boolean member false, the direction right 
should be false and the ball must go back to the left direction and this uh, will happen if the direction isn't right it's uh, left now so you will decrease the left position of the ball by 5 pixel which is the opposite uh, process of uh, what happened here and every time you decrease uh, the left position of the ball you are checking uh, if the ball is uh, meeting the left boundary of the panel and if that uh, happens then make the direction right uh, true again so these lines control the horizontal movement of the ball on the screen and it controls when the ball is moving to the right and when it is moving to the left and now uh, we have to uh, control the movement uh, the vertical movement of the ball and we need to know when the ball should move down and when uh, the ball uh, should move uh, to the up direction so I have another member called direction down which is a boolean and if this member is true then the ball is uh, should move uh, down should fall down and uh, here I'm increasing uh, the velocity by adding this uh, constant uh, value which is uh, 0.5 here if we go back to the members area you can see that this uh, constant value is uh, 0 0.5 and I'm increasing uh, the velocity uh, each time the ball is moving down in gradual it's a gradual uh, increase in the uh, position in the position of the ball and moving it uh, down so I'm checking now if the ball has lost its velocity and no more bounces will take place and if the velocity is equal equal the old velocity which means the last velocity that I store of the ball is the same velocity now this means that it lost its velocity and it stopped and the game should stop the game is finished and you win because uh, you didn't fail and the timer uh, will stop and a happy face picture will uh, show up and a label that says you won will show up on the screen and uh, this uh, player success will play a sound of um, applause and the picture box will show the image of winning and the label will show you are good at this the number of bounce the bounces and uh, of course you can see here that the beat, uh, the button resume and the button po uh, pose are all uh, are both disabled and if this happens you win and the game is over and uh, gonna say return because you don't want the, 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 the sequence of the program to continue so if you if the velocity uh, doesn't equal the old velocity then this will mean that the ball still has a good velocity and it'll it will keep bouncing and bouncing and what we need to do here is that we need to change the y uh, value that will control the vertical position of the ball and increase it gradually so that the ball is moving down uh, and here we are increasing the y value of the ball uh, by adding the velocity uh, to it and adding uh, this value uh, the constant value of 0.5 and multiplying it 
by uh, 0.5 so this will increase the vertical position uh, of the ball gradually and whenever we do that we need to check if uh, the ball reaches the bottom limit of the window and uh, whenever that happens uh, then we need to check if the ball hits the rectangle the base rectangle then it should uh, pop up again uh, but if it doesn't hit the base rectangle then uh, it'll show you that you failed and that the ball didn't hit the base rectangle so what we basically saying here uh, we are checking uh, the boundaries of uh, the base rectangle and we are checking if uh, the X uh, of uh, the ball and uh, plus its width is uh, uh, within the boundaries of the base rectangle and only then uh, we are going to store the, the current velocity of the ball and we are uh, making the direction down uh, member uh, falls so the ball uh, pops up and we are increasing we are calling this a successful bounce and we are increasing the bounce count and we are showing uh, the bounce count and uh, playing the sound of a, a bouncing ball or something but if the uh, the ball isn't within the uh, boundaries of the base rectangle then we need to stop the game and uh, this will be a failure in the game and the timer should stop um, another uh, picture that shows a losing uh, face or a sad face will uh, show up and this note will show up oh please try again if the ball is popping up then the direction down will be false and the direction uh, this these lines will occur and the direction now is up so the velocity should uh, be decreased uh, gradually uh, here we are decreased y uh, value of uh, the ball and we are checking uh, we are checking uh, the velocity of the ball and if uh, the velocity of the ball reaches zero this means that the ball uh, reaches the limits uh, and should be uh, should go down again and after all that we are drawing uh, the ball with the x the final uh, x value and y value after uh, all that process and we are invalidating uh, the whole panel and this will occur this this function move ball will occur every time uh, the ticker or the timer is ticking and every time that uh, the timer is ticking we are processing the new x and y of the ball and drawing the ball uh, in uh, the new its new uh, position and invalidating the whole uh, panel okay so what this draw ellipse function is really doing uh, it actually uh, draws uh, the new location the the uh, the new it sets the new location of the ball on the screen and by passing uh, the new X and Y of the ball we are passing these new coordinates to uh, the location member uh, or property of uh, the ball bounds and re-invalidate it every time so that's it if you like this video please subscribe share with your friends and give it a like 
and you can download this project for free from github and uh, i'll see you in the next clip